Hello my friend, good to see you again. This is Miss Catherine Liu Bush and thank you support Christian's ministry and gospel music ministry, gospel ministry. Do you believe that Jesus has risen? Some of you believe and some of you continue searching the information or evidence to approve that Jesus is alive or Jesus has risen. The pattern of Jesus' resurrection life I had reviewed in the narrative of a full gospel. If you have a Bible, uh, you can refer to the book of uh, Matthew, Luke, Mark, and John. The four gospels, according to the New Testament, uh, they are few factors to approve that Jesus had risen and had spoken uh, to his disciple after he was buried. If you have a Bible, let us open the Bible and read it together and <coughs> discover the full gospel record the same evidence. The first evidence, uh, we will focus on the Book of June 20, 12 to 16. The two angels of the Lord have indicated Jesus who was crucified. Okay, look at the uh, book of John, chapter 20, 12 to 16. Recorded that Jesus appealed to first group of people. They are Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James, who went to look at the tomb and two angels of the Lord in white and sit where Jesus' body had been, one at the head and the one uh, on, uh, sit on the other uh, at the foot. They asked her, Mary, uh, they asked her, woman, why are you crying? And she said, they had taken my Lord away and I don't know where they had put him. At this time, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she didn't realize that it was Jesus. This is it, recorded in the uh, book of John, chapter 20, 13 to 14. Jesus said to her, Mary, she turned toward him and cry out in Aramaic Rabbani, which means teacher, in the verse 16. And this is the first evidence that narrator uh, John record, uh, the first evidence we would mention about. Second evidence uh, record uh, in the book of Luke, chapter 24, 4 to 7, state, two men in clothes that gleams like a lightning stew beside them. The man said to them, Why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here. He has risen. Remember how he told you why he was still with you in Galilee. The Son of a Man must be delivered into the hands of the sinful man, be crucified and on the third day uh, be raised again. This record in the book of Luke chapter 24 verse 4 to 7. And the third, uh, also we can refer to the book of Matthew, uh, recorded the same events. And certainly Jesus met them, grinning, he said. They came to him and clasped his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brother, go to the Galilee. There they will, be, they will see me. This is recorded in Matthew 28, verse 9 to 10. And number four, the book, uh, book of Mark, uh, recorded also the same uh, events and the same evidence. In the book of Mark, uh, 
16 verse 5 to 6 state, As they entered the tomb, they saw a young man uh, dressed in white robe sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. Don't be alarmed. You are looking for Jesus, the Nazareth. Uh, don't be alarmed, he said. Here record a young man, okay? And in the book of Luke, record two men in clothes that gleamed like a lightning stool beside them. And but in the book of Mark, uh, book, uh, chapter six, uh, 16, verse 5 to 6, record they saw a young man dressed in a white robe sitting on the right side. So two books record the uh, same, the angel of the Lord, and dressed in the white. And they were alarmed, and then they say um, to the Mary, don't be alarmed. You are looking for Jesus at the Nazareth, who was crucified, he has risen. Who was crucified, he has risen. He is not here. See the place where they lay. But go, tell his disciple and Peter, he is going ahead of you into Galilee. And there you will see him just as he told you. And four book record the same evidence and narrative that the angel of the Lord appealed to the Mary, the first group, and tell them, Yes, you are seeking Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified, and he is not here. He has risen. How about the second evidence? The second evidence that I would love to point out in the book of Luke, 24, verse 13 to 31. It records Jesus came up and walked along with apostle. While two of apostles were going to a village uh, called Emmaus, about seven miles from Jesus, they would keep from recognizing him. Jesus asked them, What are you discussing together as you walk along? One of them, named Calippus, asked him, are you only a visitor to Jerusalem and do not know the things that have happened there in these days? Calippus told him about the chief priest and ruler, hand Jesus over to be sentenced to death, and they crucify him. And in the verse 18 to 20, Jesus said to them in the verse 25, How foolish you are, and how slow of heart to believe it, all that the prophets have spoken. Do not the Christ have to suffer these things, and then enter his glory. When he was at the table with them, he took a bread and gave a thanks and broke it and began to give it to them. Then the disciples' eyes were opened and they recognized him. Oh, he is Jesus. Then enter the Jesus, then, um, then, uh, disciple. Then the, the disciples' eyes were opened and they recognized him and he disappeared. Then Jesus disappeared from their sight. This recording in the book of Luke 24, verse 30 to 31st. In the book of Mark uh, 16, uh, 14 also narrates uh, Record the same narrative that later Jesus appealed to the eleven as they were eating, and he rebuked them for their lack of faith 
and uh, their stubborn refusal to believe who those who had seen him after he had risen. So, book of Luke and book of Mark, they uh, jotted down the same uh, narrative that Jesus rebuked the disciples who who are uh, who are lacking the faith. Okay, they stubborn refuser to believe it. Uh, those who had seen him after he had risen. This is second evidence that Jesus appealed to those disciples who refused to believe in him. But by one action that their eyes open up and recognize him by what action? By Jesus took the bread and gave it thanks and break it and give it to and begin to give it to him. So in this action that disciple recognized him. This indicated that Jesus appealed to disciple in different figure and in spiritual being and only in the man, in spirit being we recognize he is Jesus. And third evidence that Jesus appealed to disciple Thomas, uh, who was doubted the reality of Jesus' resurrection in John, uh, Book of John 20, 26 uh, record. A week later, his disciples were in the house again, and uh, Thomas was with them. Although the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here. See my hand. R reach out your hand and put it into my side. Doubting, stop doubting and believe. Thomas finally realized that. He was Jesus. So he cried out, Oh, my Lord and my God. This is recorded to the Luke 20, verse 27 to 28. Number four, the fourth evidence that I wanted to point out is Jesus appealed to his disciple Simon Peter. In the book of John, chapter 21, verse 5, indicate Earlier in the morning, Jesus stood on the shore, but the disciple didn't realize that it was Jesus. He called out to them, Friends, have you any fish? No, they answered. He said, Threw your net on the right side of the board, and you will find some. When they did, they were unable to hold the net in because of the large number of fish. Then the disciple whom Jesus loved said to Jesus, uh, said to Peter, It is the Lord. When they had finished eating, uh, when they had uh, finished eating, three times Jesus asked Simon Peter, Simon, son of a John, do you truly love me more than these? Simon, son of a John, do you love me? Do you love me? And Jesus also instructed him, then, fit my lamb. If you do love me, fit my lambs and take care of my sheep and feed my sheep. Fifth evidence was hidden by chief priest. This is recorded in the Matthew 28 verse 11 to 15. While the women were on their way, some of the guards went into the city and reported to the chief priest everything that had happened. 
when the chief priest had met with the elders and uh, devised a plan. You, the, uh, they give the soldier a large sum of money, telling them you are to say it. His disciple came during the night and the store uh, him away while we was asleep. If this report gets to the governor, we will satisfy him and keep you out of trouble. So the soldier took the money and this store has been widely uh, circulated among the Jew to this day. So some of the Jew do not believe or refuse to believe that Jesus has risen because these social spread this story that tell the lie because they took the money. So money is one of the evil the people love it. More you love it, the money you made lead into the evil way. So the soldier tell the lie that Jesus' body was uh, be stolen by uh, those disciples while they were asleep. So this is recorded in the Matthew 28 verse 11 to 15. Moreover, in the Pentecost, uh, there is one of the uh, uh, evidence I also wanted to point out. Not long after Jesus went back to heaven, the disciples were all together in a room. Suddenly, a small flame of fire appeared above the head of each of the believers. It was the Holy Spirit coming to live in the believers. Just as Jesus had promises. Jesus affirmed that this is what is written. The Christ will suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and repentance and forgiveness of sin will be preached in his name to all nations beginning at Jerusalem. Today, Jesus' resurrection life has been revealed to all the nations and to receive a salvation by no other name but the name of Jesus only. Father had to vindicate Jesus as a son of a man, as raised son to redeem the sinners. The sin of a mankind have forgiven for he who call upon the name of Jesus and repented his sins, he will be saved. My friend, do you believe in Jesus as a Savior? Do you believe it? The full gospel recorded the full narrative as evidence to approve that Jesus has risen. Are you doubting like a Thomas? Are you doubting and hide the evidence as a soldier who took money in order to lie? Have you ever prayed asking the Lord to reveal you the truth? Maybe you are a professor, maybe you're an instructor, maybe you're a college student or high school student who have never trust in the Bible, and who have a doubt that Jesus has risen or Messiah Christ. If you are, yes, we encourage you or challenge you, pray. The Holy Spirit will lead you, will guide you and to get one Bible in your language asking God talking to you the Holy Spirit 
will reveal the words of God and penetrate your thought and mind. And He will give you answer. And day after day, year after year, you will receive the answer. It may, the answer may come, not come right away, but after years, after years, one year at a time, or one day at a time, one month at a time, the Holy Spirit will guide you into the right place, meet the right person, or you will find the right book. It will approve for you, Jesus is alive, and He will speak to you and reveal the truth. If a son of a man reveal the truth to you, and open eyes of your heart, don't hesitate. Call upon the name of Jesus. Come into my heart, and I want to accept you as my Savior, to be my Savior and change my life, and I want to receive it, the eternal life. Pray in this prayer, in Jesus' name, and you will be saved. And do not worry about your family, but you, yourself, receive a salvation first. Once one saved, whole family will be saved. Now, this is your uh, assignment or your uh, researching uh, question, if you still doubt. That first question, according to the Matthew, uh, book 28, verse 11 to 15, the truth of Jesus' resurrection was hidden by chief priest. What did they give to the soldier in order to tell a lie? Go to research it, each it, version of the Bible. What did they say? What the narrator described the evidence. And second question, in the book of John, chapter 20, first of, uh, verse 5 to 7, what did Jesus say to Simon Peter? It opened up Simon Peter's eyes and recognized it was Jesus. And then third question, according to the book of John, chapter 20, verse 26 to 28, Jesus appealed to whom? And they instructed him put his finger where the nail were. And number four, according to the Luke 24, verse 4 to 7, what did two men say to Mary, Magdalene, and Mary, the mother of James? Go to research it, the answer according to your language or different version, a version of the Bible, or different language of the Bible that can help you. These questions may help you find the answer. May the Lord give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation and discover the truth if a son of a God set you free. Indeed, you will be free. May salvation reach it to your family. Amen.